Hi Sagittarius, this is our weekly love connection and relationship reading. Just because I say it's weekly, guys, just know I leave these readings timeless. So whatever reading and whatever week you find it, hopefully it will give you confirmation and messages that you need. And please forgive we have Miss Queen of Snoring Chihuahuas, Mimi, in the room with us. So if you hear her snoring... Let's see what the energy is for my Sagittarius this week. Energies for my Sagittarius. Give me just a minute to get this energy on this deck. Ooh. Feeling good on this one. Here we go, guys. Let's find my Sagittarius's energy and their partner. What's going on with them? And we're going to pull... No, I'm not feeling that one. We're going further back. And we're going to go right in between here, guys. Right there it is. Let me hang on to it. Here we go. Let's see what's going on. First card. We have a Princess of Hearts. Princess of Hearts. It's a, a page of cups in regular tarot. We're using the end. First edition of the Enchanted Tarot. Second one, we've got a Queen of Pentacles. We've got some Capricorn energy coming up in here. Nine of Pentacles. Oh, I like that. Nine of Pentacles. See what's coming in on that uh, Princess of Hearts. We've got a Nine of Swords. A Nine of Swords. On that Queen of uh, Pentacles, we've got a Ten of Swords. Wow, this card has come out in so many of our readings this week. The Ten of Swords, wow. Hermit card coming in on uh, the Nine of Pentacles. That's our Virgo energy. Hermit, Hermit's been popping a lot in readings too. On the Nine of Swords, we've got the Two of Hearts, Two of Cups. Wow, okay. Okay. On that Ten of Swords, we've got a Seven of Swords. Okay, and then on the Hermit, we've got Princess of Pentacles, up another page. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can find the overall energy here. I may have, I'm going to have to shuffle it. I'm not feeling it on the deck. Let's shuffle it out. This is for my Sagittarius. Overall current energy between them and their person right now. Overall current energy. There it is. Right there. Got a four of wands. Uh-huh. That's uh, the four corners. Uh, you know, wanting to uh, deepen our commitment with each other. It's also a card, uh, sometimes whatever we've been working towards or not working towards, we're reaping a harvest on it. So, yeah, um, it's a pretty good card, though. Good energy is not, is not reversed, but we're trying to, you know, work on the foundation of the relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me look at these. What we got going on. Okay, with these two pages here, uh, that's sort of like not got good, we've not got good direction yet on something, so, oh my goodness, okay, let's look at uh, Sagittarius energy, this is going to be your partner's um, energies, so let's look what's going on in your energies right now, we've got this Princess of Hearts, <clears throat> like I said, it's a page of cups and regular tarot. And with our pages, that brings in useful energy. I uh, think useful, sometimes feeling vulnerable to our emotions and things like that. So we've got a lot of emotions that we're having to, you know, we really, well, we don't have to, but most of us need to uh, experience these emotions and, uh, how do I put it, ride the waves of them. Uh, sort through our emotions. Uh, we're feeling a little bit vulnerable to the emotions. Uh, the fact that we've got the Nine of Swords uh, coming in under that uh, Princess of Hearts, that's letting me know we feel like we've been struggling in a battle, um, <clears throat> trying to work things out in a relationship. 
And then we got the two cups, the the harmony, the balance, being in sync with each other. It's also a card about making compromises and sacrifices within a relationship so that we keep it harmonized and balanced. So we, my Sagittarius, we're overcome by a, a, some emotions uh, and feeling weary, weary like we've been battling to try to bring harmony and balance into our relationship and keep the balance in, in within a relationship. Hmm, our partner. Let's see what's going on with them. Because we've got um, that Queen of Pentacles energy. That's Capricorn energy, whether your partner's male or female. Uh, it's just bringing through that, you know, they're... How do I put it in that divine feminine energy? Um, <clears throat> they're doing things slow. They're being slow and practical about things. I don't know how else to put that. Um, but they're way, way too much in their heads. With that Ten of Swords, that Ten of Swords is, you know, that's reaching the end of something. Something has run its full course. Um... There's no going back. We are. It's like it's almost that rock bottom card where you've hit rock bottom and you feel like everything has been working against you, and you all of a sudden get your second breath of life and you're standing up going, "I ain't doing this no more. I'm not taking. I'm not taking this no more." So they feel like the world's been coming down on them. That others haven't been so nice to them. Things like that being stabbed in the back. Sometimes it'll bring in betrayal. People talking about you behind your back. Things like that. And you become pissed off. And you're going forward and determined. I'm not doing this anymore. And you literally go in a different direction. And leave a lot of things and a lot of people behind. The Seven of Swords. Bringing in a sense of being betrayed again. You see all the swords coming down and them feeling trapped. Like something's been taken from them that they want back. And, you know. So, uh... We, we've got somebody that's a little uh, too much in their head, in their thoughts, and they are stalled. Stalled on um, the relationship. I don't know how else to put it. Don't really know what's going on. Like I said, it's a general reading. I'd have to do a lot of clarifying to find out what's got your person in this uh, mode of, I'm done. I'm, I'm moving forward. I'm tired of being stabbed in the back, and I'm tired of, think, you know... Because they, they, it's almost like they want to say, everybody's taken from me. And me not getting nothing back. That kind of thing. So, uh, defense, I'm, I'm going to say like a defense mode. They're almost, in, and we have been battling. It's showing my Sagittarius. Uh, battling, trying to... Uh, Work with them, work, you know, work, and it's going to be hard to because they're so in their head being triggered by emotions of feeling like, you know, everything, the world's against them. So, yeah, mm, let's see the energies going forward. When I say going forward in front of us, this is a couple of days to maybe a couple of weeks. We have a Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is showing us independence, freedom, feeling more secure, um, about what the hermit <laughs> yeah doing it alone being alone so in <clears throat> the princess of pentacles is showing somebody literally stalled not knowing what that what direction to go in with our princesses and pages uh that's youthful energy we don't pick up a lot of direction for the energy to go because it's youthful We're, you're standing there trying to decide uh, what you're going to do, and you're not quite sure yet. So we've got somebody. When it comes to the physical realm, they don't know what they're going to do. They don't know what they're they're going to choose. And because it's pentacle, it's pinging me back to the Queen of Pentacles on that Capricorn energy of someone stalling, stalling because they're way too much in their head, and they, you know they're a little pissed off. I don't know how else to put it. Inside their head, they're being triggered. And yeah, but. For my Sagittarius, this seems to be that going forward, we're going into hermit mode. Into hermit mode of withdrawing, feeling confident and okay about it. Okay about going alone and following my own light. And this could represent us trying to get our directions of what are we going to do. Think physical realm of, 
uh, do I want to keep living here or do I want, you know, physical things. So, yeah, but it also could represent uh, the fact that what's pushed us into, I'm okay <laughs> not being in this person's life. I'm okay if I have to do this alone because they may still be stalling and not knowing what they want. Not knowing what they want at all. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and pull the Romance Angel Oracles. Let's focus on the energy going out in front of us and see what advice uh, we'll get from these cards. Going forward for my Sagittarius. Going forward for my Sagittarius. There's one. Deception. Someone is wearing a false <clears throat> self-mask in this, in this relationship. Mm, deception. Ow. Hmm. Not showing the true colors, not speaking up, not being authentic, trying to put on a mask and mask things over. What else? What else? Because that's going forward in our energies, like I said, a couple of days to a couple of weeks. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right now. And I think my Sagittarius are because it's showing us, you know, battling because we're trying. We're trying. We got that two hearts. We're trying. Yeah, but the, your person seems to be closed off way too much in their head. Going back over things that, you know, all the bad things that's ever happened. Children, your love life is being affected by children. I'm going to let you fit that one in, how it fits, because it might not be uh, resonating for everyone, but somebody watching might need that confirmation. There's children involved. Anything else? Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmation, and visualizations help bring you together. Help bring you together. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. But like I said, going forward, energy, we seem to become okay within our own mind, in our own heart with, we can do this alone. <laughs> we can do this alone. And the fact we got the children card, and we've got the page of pentacles down here. We actually may have children, and like I said, for some of us, we may have that confidence and feel like, okay, <laughs> we got kids. I can, I can do, I can do it. I can do it alone if I have to, which may actually spark your person back into, you know, waking up, coming out of this. Uh, I hate saying it, uh, victim mode, victim mode. Because they are very defensive and feeling like betrayed. Betrayed by the world. Betrayed by so much in life. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and pull our uh, Journey of the Heart. This is Tarot and Translations, the Journey of the Heart. Uh, give your higher self, your guides, and the divine a chance to chime in and give you advice going forward. Going forward over here. What they want us to know... What are we wanting to know? First one, we've got Ace of Wands. A new phase of your relationship is about to begin. Action is being taken which will rekindle the flames of love. Let the passion you feel for each other guide you forward. I like that. That's going forward, guys. Call in your soulmate. It's like I said, we may rekindle some, some and bring this person out of pity mode of, okay, let's let the, let's really do a ten of sword and let it all go and move forward. Just let the past go. Eight of Wands. Your relationship is picking up momentum, either in communication, commitment, or physical partnership. Allow yourself to go with the flow and see where it leads. See where it leads. Give it a chance. What else? Anything else for my higher self or God's in the divine for my sad? Seven of Swords. Sacred partnerships rely on honesty and trust. If you're experiencing deception within yourself or your connection, go within and seek clarity from a higher perspective and reach resolution. Now, guys, remember we pinged on... Uh, someone wearing a mask. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that deception card. Let's go ahead and pull a lover's oracle for my Sagittarius in their person. See what we're going to get this week for my Sagittarius. We 
gonna get? Oh, and it. Mm, I'm feeling two of them. We're gonna take this one that I popped and like, come on, take me, horses. I. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Trying too hard. This is what I was saying with our energy cards over here. We have been struggling, battling, trying. Trying, trying, trying. Yeah, weary. Trying to bring harmony and balance and heart. You know, that equal exchange into a relationship. Our next card. This one's pretty, y'all. I love it. I love the way the light's wrapping around them. Trust. Transformation occurs through the through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Oh, I like that. Beautiful. Let me pick a message deck. Let's give your person a chance to see if they want to give you a brief message. Two or three cards. <clears throat> Which one? Let's do the butterflies. Let's do my number one deck. See what they'll say. Because oh, we got that transformation. This is for my Sagittarius, their person. Let their person speak to you, the card. There's our first one. I feel your tears. Oh. Ow, connecting back on that heart level. Yeah. Because, like I said, we're calling in our soulmate. Oh, coming in, oh yeah, I like that because it has them coming out of their head so much and and coming back to the, the their heart center, reconnecting on that unseen level. I feel your tears, I feel the struggle you've been going through. Also, I'm so in love with you. Oh, what else? What else? It's for my Sagittarius, the person, let the person speak. Anything else? Is it anything else? I'm not feeling those guys. Is it anything else? That might be all we're going to get. No? No? I know you are the one for me. Oh, I like that. Bottom card, y'all. I need you. I need you. Oh, man. Okay, Sagittarius. That's all I have for us. I hope it gave you some confirmation on things you were already intuitively knowing. I hope it brought you messages or, you know, some kind of blessing. So, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.